Favre throwing a crossing route. Ruvel Martin gets the first down. He has checked into the ball game for Grant. Favre throwing the far side once again, slipping was James Jones. But they're calling it a catch. Throwing it that way, but what we've seen so far is that the two tackles have done a nice job. Really might handle these outside pass rushers. So far they've gotten it done. So far they have indeed. This is Grant with his first carry of the night. And that practice squad, a uh, guy out of Notre Dame. This is Grant again, this side, working his way close to the first down marker. Still appears to be at least two yards short. So far the pass. Far throwing this side. He's got driver open. In and out of his hands, Terrence Newman there with pretty good coverage. 47-yard field goal, rookie out of Colorado from the hold of John Ryan. This one's true. And it's the Packers that get on the board first here in Texas. Crosby with a 47-yard field goal has the pack up. 3-0. We're back. Kicking it away. Miles Austin will field it at his 10. Austin with some running room. Forced out of bounds on the far side. Good field position for the Packer offense. Romo and company coming out of the field trailing 3-0. Back to four pounds. Romo will throw on second down. Far side. Completes to Owens and shoved out of bounds. Harris got his hands on it. He's saying he got his hands on it before Owens went out of bounds. In the first the couple of plays. The field is a catch. Forward progress stop. After the play. Delay a game. Defense. Number 21. Spiking the ball into the ground. Okay, John Perry means uh, 31. Al Harris, who obviously had ball and both feet down. But as you heard, forward progress had been declared. Yep. And right there, they're going to say it was down. And to the referee's credit, I will say, you saw him come in and signal continue the clock running, which means that he was calling forward progress at that point and it gaining control. But he can challenge whether or not this is truly a catch. And so John Perry will go under the hood, and we'll find out what he determines when we come back. Right after. Official put the whistle. Green Bay will be fired with the first team timeout. First and ten. Back. Flips Creighton wide right. Looks right. Flips back left. This is Jones. Gets a block on the outside. Gets a first down as he moves it down inside the 20. Call it the 22 yard line. Jones still in. That's Oliver Hoyt as the up back. The give is to Jones following Hoyt's lead to about the 11 yard line. Gets up with Sam Hurd. He'll give it inside to Julius Jones. And he'll be short with the first down mark. Folk makes it good. We've got a tie ball game. 8.23 to go in the first quarter. It's all tied at 3-3. And folks are already buzzing about this play. They put our referee under the hood. That's Corey Robinson in motion to the slot. Far finds him. And he's pushed out of bounds as he uh, crosses. Second and three for one of the few times tonight we see Brett under center. He pitches back Whoa. to Ryan Grant. And he's popped. Roy Whoa. Williams. Oh, my goodness. I think Roy Williams is a little frustrated by the fact that he has not been playing quite as much as he would like. I'm a middle linebacker. He could play strong safety. <laughs> That's an angry dude right there. Under pressure, Favre hit, delivers low to James Jones. Incomplete, and the Packers will be forced to punt. Venture to get there around the corner. We're seeing Marion Barber in for Julius Jones for the first time tonight, and Barber will get it. To try it off left tackle, moves his way across the 40, brought down in the arms of A.J. Hawk. Offense. He brings a lot of heart to the field, that's for sure. And Romo will throw a far side, completing to Owens. He's pushed out of bounds, would appear to have the first down. For Join with all football fans and hoping this can be settled sometime soon so we can watch games like this one. Marion Barber getting it inside would appear to have the first down. He's got running one. Gets into the next level. Brought down by Atari Bigby and A.J. Hawk. It'll be another first down. Campman leading the NFL in sacks. He's got 11. But he stood up on this side. Romo in and out of the hands of Owens. He was right at the marker. 
It's true enough. It's long enough. And so with 3.15 to play in the first period, the Cowboys get another field goal out of Folk. They're leading at 6-3 for the Packers from the 24. Fake that time to Grant, and Favre will throw over the middle. This one's going to be picked off. That's Ken Hamlin. Hamlin brings it back to the Packer 40. The Cowboys are really playing them pretty softly. Great field position again for Romo and the Cowboys offense from the Packer 41. Romo throwing on the run into the arms of Owens. He's knocked down inside the 10. Nick Collins applying the hit. It'll be first and goal, Cowboys. That's snoozing on that one. Nick Collins and Atari Bigby completely bought into the play fake. And a great job by Tony Romo at least checking up the field for T.O. because initially have to look up the field and got the big play. Call it first and goal from the seven. Witten leading Jones into the hole and he'll make his way to the four yard line. Operates from the gun. Romo with lots of time looking for Creighton finding him touchdown Cowboys. Cowboys have taken a 10-point lead with 114 to play in the first. Anti later nick line. Vernon Morenci is the uh, in the backfield with Favre. He will throw. We've got a flag in and out of the hands of James Jones. We've got a flag in the secondary. 12 men on the field. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Replay third down. Here early. They'll run for it. Ryan Grant will get it. Ryan Grant's got nothing but open space in front of him. Touchdown, Packers. And just like that, with one second to play in the quarter, the Packers pulled it within three. I don't know why they didn't keep it. Double team inside between center Scott Wells and Jason Spitz. And then it was John Kuhn who's been getting an opportunity to play because of a neck injury to Corey Hall more and more every single week. See him peel off the last one, Aiken Adele right there, and then they were just off. The two safeties basically ran into each other, Ken Hamlin and Roy Williams. It's amazing that one of those two didn't find a way to get him on the ground. I mean, they just completely fanned on the play. And you're talking about two of the better tackling safeties, especially Roy Williams in the game. It's just bizarre. This is Sam Hurd coming wide to the bottom of your screen. Romo with lots of time will throw for Owens. He's got him deep into Packer territory, brought down inside the 30. Owens escaping Atari Bigby on the coverage. Play, and they don't want Bush to be matched up with T.O. Bush is actually winning the battle with Patrick Creighton. He gave up one play. Oh. No touchdown. Romo to Anthony Fasano. Just over the outstretched arm of Jared Bush. Touchdown, Cowboys. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a no-doubter right there. Second and seven from the 19. A high pitch this side to Grant, but he would appear to have enough for the first down. Roy Williams coming up to make the stick. And so he's faced with third and ten. And, of course, he'll have to throw over the middle. Completes this one. That's James Jones, gets him out of their own end, gets it back to the 45. Jock Reeves bringing him down. Grant takes the pitch, looking for something on the left side, finding nothing. Chris Canty. Three acts sort of 34. Call it second and 12. This one hit. Fred, arm, arm was hit as he released it. They're calling this one interception. And Brett may be hurt. Terrence Newman got his hands under it. Has had their second turnover of the night. We'll be back in just a moment. 20 to 10. Dallas. Where? But uh, the Cowboys with good field position again, starting from the Green Bay 45. And Romo wants it all. We're going to get a flag there. Inside the five, Jared Bush running over Miles Austin. With Patrick Creighton out. They found out more about Sam Hurd and Miles Austin. Miles Austin got an opportunity to play. And Owens in motion. And once again, Romo oh, with lots good of time. Good route. This by is T. easy. Oh, I love it. What a great route. Just under 10 minutes to play in the first half. 
five, and indeed Rodgers will lead the offense onto the field. Rodgers has not seen a lot of action this year. He's uh, thrown only two passes, completed both of them. And for Rodgers and the Packers offense, He'll scramble up inside, look for it himself, and it would seem to be close to the marker before being knocked down by Ken Hamlin. He wasn't about to get down either. No feet first for him. How about Says he only plays about a fourth of the time now with his uh, hand on the ground in three-point stance. He likes standing up in that 3-4 defense. Second and ten will come this side. Donald Lee with his first catch of the night. Gets swung out of bounds there by Greg Ellis. Just tonight. Third and seven. He tries to flip this one on a screen to Morenci, but it was ticked. It would appear that Anthony Spencer is the one who got a hand on it. He knows how to play in pain. Yeah, but you're talking about your right elbow now. That's a different set of circumstances. Romo throwing long. Owens. He stopped. Harris didn't. And so it's third and 11. Romo lost this one. Looks like he wasn't on the same page with uh, Patrick Creighton or Jason Witten. Witten is playing quarterback unless things change drastically. Especially with less than five minutes to play in the first half. Rodgers completes this one outside. First catch of the night for Greg Jennings. He's got some room, and he's got Jets. Trips over his own blocker at the 30-yard line. Got a tender ankle, just limped to the sideline. He's been replaced in the uh, Cowboys backfield by Nathan Jones. Swings at this side. Jennings suddenly, after all night having no receptions, catches back-to-back -back balls. He's one from the 23, and Grant would appear to have the first down. Terrence flips this one near side. Grant, nothing happening. We've got a flag. Offside. Number 33 defense, five-yard penalty, second down. He pitches far side, Ryan Grant. Stiff arms one tackler, and Grant keeps the feet moving, would appear to have a first down. It's second and goal from the 11. Rogers looking right, completing this one to Jennings, touchdown Packers. Jones is going to come off the right side here, and all the Packers are going to do is turn around right where he would have dropped in that zone coverage, and Greg Jennings, as he's done all season, found a way to get it in the end zone. Boy, he's become a really exciting player, even a little face mask Patrick Watkins. on the tail end of that play, but this is uh, Irving. It's been all we expected. It's 27-17 Cowboys. And so Crosby will get our second half underway. This is Miles Austin, and Crosby makes a tackle on this side at the 42-yard line. They are going to wear out Miles Austin. <laughs> <laughs> that Tony Romo's We're almost laughing already already. laughing about it. Let's take a second half. He is being evaluated. We are told. We'll keep our eye on that. Romo will throw on first down, and he was going for Jason Witten, who was tripped up. Prior to the pass, holding number 51 defense, five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Short of midfield, first down for the Cowboys. The give is to Julius Jones, and he'll get another first as he crosses the 40 before Nick Collins upends him. Ability of it. Meanwhile, Cowboys facing third and 12 here on this their opening drive, and I think on the far side, Colombo jumped early. Romo, who, as you noted, looked like he'd hardly broken a sweat. Steps up this time and completes it to Witten, but he would appear to be short of the first before A.J. Hawk drags him down. Wouldn't be surprised to see the Cowboys go for it here. Jones is stacked behind Hoyt. He's the up back. This is Jones. Stuffed in the hole. It would appear he did not make it. Ryan Pickett. By Ryan Pickett, too. And so Roger starts the um, second half for the Packers and goes down in a heap. Brady James and Greg Ellis. The league playing Brett Favre. Yeah. He'll complete this one. 
to James Jones, but that's not going very far. Anthony Henry. He will be coming here without question. He gets good protection and completes this one to Donald Driver. Close to midfield, call it the 47-yard line. Another good throw by Rodgers. Now, I'm surprised they're not coming after Rodgers. Let's see if they do here as they go spread. Rodgers will run for it. And this time he does go feet first as he moves into Cowboy territory to the 41-yard line. Oh. Last six throws now has the Packers on the move. Rodgers with tons of time. Completes it to Donald Lee, and Donald Lee still on his feet to the 25, dragging Roy Williams. Packers go five wide again. Rodgers flush looked like someone had a hand on the face mask, and indeed, there goes the flag. It's Mark Tauscher again, who's doing all that he can, but it was clearly the face mask that time by Greg Ellis, and when you get that turn of the helmet, that's what determines. If you grab it, that's a five-yarder. If you turn it, it's a 15. Donald Lee to that side to give him a little help. Empty backfield for Rodgers. Throwing over the middle and completing the driver. Fighting for yardage to the two-yard line. He'll throw on second down. Caught short of the goal line. This is John Kuhn. Full house backfield, the give us to Grant. Touchdown Packers. Well, John, My goodness. And John Kuhn got a little revenge on that when he said, well, I didn't get it in, but my block's going to get it in. Paul Owens enjoyed a big first half. Six catches, 147 yards, and a touchdown. Romo trapped on that side with Aaron Campman, and A.J. Hawk comes up to put a stop to Jason Witten, who he said has replaced Jared Bush. He's got Sam Hurd up there. Romo flushed, finding Creighton. First down, Cowboys. Fasano, the up back, trying to lead Barber. Fasano with a good block on the outside and maybe a face mask on that side. In the game, maybe the best together. Indeed, it was Bigby, so they'll step this one off. Cardinal. Romo lofting this one for Owens. Did he get him down? Did he have possession? After reviewing the play, it is an incomplete pass. The ball is being doubled as it was going out of bounds. Therefore, incomplete. Second and 10, the 32 and a half yard line. Green Bay is not charged. With the timeout. Even three yards out yeah, of bounds, it was, he didn't have clearly. Romo underneath to Owens. Al Harris comes up and stops him short of the first down. Slung him off of it. Let's see what Jason Garrett dials up, third and short. This is Barber. He'll get the first down easily. Just tripped up inside the 10. They'll mark it at the three yard line. That is classic Marion Barber. Second and goal from the six. Romo with time. Owens in and out of his hands into the arms of Al Harris. Well, look what I found. Delivers the ball to Al Harris. And just like that, the Packers have the ball at the 20, trailing by three, and Aaron Rodgers has completed 10 in a row and led Green Bay to two scores and three drives. He completes this one to Greg Jennings. You explain this interception to you. Pretty impressive. Completes outside to Donald Driver, and he's muscled out of bounds. That's a success here. The Cowboys are 0-5 at Lambeau. This time, Rodgers is going to be wrapped up by DeMarcus Ware and thrown for a loss. And the Packers will have to give up the football. Abuse as well. Romo and the Cowboys trying to get something started here. This is Jason Witten 
escapes the attempt to tackle of Atari Bigby and gets the first down. Cowboys offense has been a bit stagnant since uh, they scored their last touchdown. They made it 27-10 with 9.53 remaining in the second period. So first down Cowboys at the 37. Romo will throw. He's got Witten again. It's Hawk that chases him out of bounds, but we have a flag down. And this one would appear to be coming back. Looks like his mic gave way, but we're thinking it's Flozell Adams, number 76. Big couple of downs right here. This time, Romo with Max Protect has Owens in motion. Witten curling inside. It's for Witten, caught in the arms of Nick Barnett. Huge third down play. Romo over the middle. Witten, first down, Cowboys. Second big down throw of the night for Romo. He wants it all this time. He's got Creighton out front. Miles Austin comes up looking for a flag. Their feet got tangled. He and Tremont Williams. And Austin can't believe Well, now the flag does come. Not. Pass interference. Defense number 38. I thought Austin had said the magic word, and that's why we got the late flag. Yep. Man coverage here. Looks like some kind of a combination in and out look. Harris is head up on Owens. Touchdown, Cowboys. Patrick Creighton. Burton feet tangling together, and that's not supposed to be pass interference. And so Aaron Rodgers really has his work cut out for him. He starts it with a completion of Donald Driver. Pass interference or not. Aaron Rodgers seems to have found his groove. Completed 13 of his last 14. He's got running room on the right side, and he'll get it close to midfield. First down, Packers. He's got Grant in the backfield. Completes this one, the driver, on a crossing route, and driver gets it into Cowboy territory to the 43-yard line. Rodgers completes this side. Corin Robinson, his first catch of the night. Gets enough of a stiff arm on Henry to work his way close to the first down marker. Sean Taylor's number 21, a sticker on the back of several helmets tonight. This is Ryan Grant. It's been a long while since we've called his number. This one is not a first down. Oh, I think they've got it. Well, you've got to, you've got to get a field goal and a touchdown either to way. Two scores, but I think you've got to go for this one. It appeared that he had enough for the first down, but they came up short. Crosby pulls the Packers to within one score with just 5.03 to play in the ballgame. So now it's on the Packers' defense. With their power running football style. We're going to get a heavy dose of this man, Marion Barber. He starts off with a three and a half yard gain. A.J. Hawk stops him. He's going to throw it. Completes this one to Jason Witten. And Witten fighting for more yards, breaks this one in the Packer territory to the 45-yard line. First down, Dallas. Sir. Better than Cooley. Yes, sir. Barber on first down again. And, yeah, we've got a face mask. And once again, it's Bigby. That's the second time Bigby has gotten first his foul. fingerprints on the face mask of uh, Mr. Barber. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Cowboys with a fresh set of downs. This is Barber spinning outside and getting to the 20. Stays inbounds. The clock keeps moving. We move inside three minutes. Second and four, just inside three minutes. It's Barber again. And he looks like he's got the Cowboys a fresh set of downs. Marion Barber once again. Turning him back, or at least trying to, was Al Harris. It'll be Barber again. And he'll be stacked up at the um, seven-yard line, Cullen Jenkins. And so this attempt for Folk, he's made from 26 and 51. Had this one from 25, and that should do it. With that field goal... The Cowboys assume a 10-point lead, 37-27.
as you can see, just slightly more than a minute to play in this ball game, who were picked ahead of him. Yeah, and he caught a break having Jason Garrett as his offensive coordinator, who has just been painting some masterpieces in Dallas. Oh. Oh. Tremont Williams just got baptized at the 18. Keith Davis, their special team specialist. That's what he saw there. Gutsy performance by the uh, Green Bay Packers, but it appears it's going to fall short. Rodgers completes this one to Donald Driver. He's trying to get out of bounds and does. Seriously injured, and we don't really know at this point. It's like they're still going to have a very legitimate shot in the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers will go over the 200-yard mark as he completes this one to Jennings. Maturing his relationship with Tio gets better. Back on October 14th, of course, these Cowboys played the uh, Patriots here and lost to them. For Think about in Dallas. Rodgers on fourth down, throwing incomplete. And with that, Jerry Jones can start shaking hands and giving hugs. Around in this Dallas organization. And the Cowboys go to 11 and 1 as the Packers lose for just the second time this year for Dallas. That is a franchise best start. 11 and 1. The Cowboys win it 37 27.